the performance and emotion in Faustine's song is really great. It's just that because her tempo is kind of wandering, it's very difficult for us as producers to work with it in the sequencer and program drums or add time-based delay effects or anything that you would normally do. And I don't want that to be the rate-limiting step between me being able to work with this and not. So by doing the trick that I'm going to show you in this tutorial, I was able to easily add all my production, and the song sounds like this. The performance and emotion are still there, but thanks to Reason's time stretch, she's perfectly on beat, and I can do everything that I need to do, just like I'm used to. So let's start this process by going to Faustine Song and Discover and clicking the Open in Reason button to download it and load it into Reason. You can see that Reason has loaded the default tempo of 120 beats per minute, which this song is definitely not. Now, for short audio samples, you could certainly just double-click the audio clip and drag the slice markers to manually fit the sample to your tempo. But full songs have hundreds of slice markers, and I don't know about you, but I have no interest in manually dragging all of these to where they need to be. Fortunately, we don't have to. And here's the trick. Instead of Faustine playing in time with a click when she recorded her song, we're going to teach the click to play in time with Faustine. No way! Yes way. And we'll start by right-clicking on Faustine's audio and choosing Disable Stretch. Next, we'll get the sequencer to be at least in the ballpark of her actual tempo by playing back the song and using the tap tempo button to get us close. So we can see that it's about 56 beats per minute that she's playing at. Our next step is to draw in an automation clip for the tempo of the song. To do that, I'll click on the transport lane in the sequencer and go up to the Track Parameter Automation menu and choose Tempo. Then I can use my pencil tool to draw in one big clip that spans the whole length of her song. With Snap turned off for fine control, I'm going to trim the start of her audio clip so that it begins with her first chord. Let's drag the audio back to the start of bar 1 and we're ready to start mapping her performance's tempo. To do that, we're going to create automation points in our tempo lane. Double click the lane to open it for editing, and draw the first point on bar 1, beat 1. Now we'll manually enter a value for that automation point to set our tempo to 56 BPM, which was, if you remember, our tap tempo result. If we play back the song with the click turned on, you'll hear that we're already actually pretty close to being on beat. but you can hear it starts to drift. You can even see visually where it goes off. This chord should be coming on this white line, which is the start of bar 2. And so to correct that, we just need to draw in a new tempo automation point. Then we go back and fine-tune the value adjustment. Watch the audio waveform as I move this up and down. As I speed up, it moves further away. As I slow down the tempo, it moves closer and closer to its correct sync point of bar 2, beat 1. And so this is the process that I'll now repeat throughout the whole song, creating new tempo automation points every bar, or sometimes more frequently if I see the audio drifting sooner. Now, as much as I'm sure you'd love to see me do this in real time, I'm going to spare you and speed up the action. Matthias, can I get some goofy working music? <laughs> And done. If I zoom back out to look at the whole song, you can see the full tempo map of the song here. And if I play the song, you'll see the variations in tempo as Faustine speeds up and slows down in her performance. To merge this tempo map into her audio file, we right-click her clip in the sequencer, choose Bounce, Bounce Clips to New Recordings, and then we can right-click again and choose Enable Stretch. Now, it may look like nothing's changed on screen, but actually, everything's changed. The new audio clip of Faustine's song now has correct tempo information, so we can delete our tempo automation lane, clicking Continue Unprompted, and play back our song.
check it out. Instead of our tempo adjusting to follow Faustine, she's finally following our fixed tempo. If we set the tempo faster, her song adjusts in perfect time now. And thanks to our tempo mapping, we can now add our production to the song, like a Rex loop from the Art of Brushes refill. Mellotron strings, courtesy of G-Force's Retron rack extension. Some live bass. Some guitar. And maybe a little radical piano. When I'm done, I can click the share button to drop my version back to Propellerhead. And, in the interest of helping the Discover community, I'll also drop a version without my extra production so that anyone can add their own flavor to Faustine's song without having to map it and correct it themselves. This tempo mapping technique can be a game changer for you. There is now no great idea out there that you can't make music with. If you still think of me